Hey, welcome back. Let's have a look at this set today and see if it has anything in it to recommend it to adult collectors. I'm pretty sure that Anna's outfit is is going to be exclusive to this set and the horse is also exclusive to this set. But is there anything else worth getting this set for? I mean, you know, I'm not the target audience for this, but I'm always curious as to what's in here that we're not going to get in any other set. So there are 108 pieces and it's $60 here in Australia. Of course, you know, the small set, large price tag. Thanks, Dizzy Mouse. Okay, so we have two books, one with Olaf in it and second one has got kind of furniture build and Anna and the Hussie. So all right, let's have a look. Maybe we'll start with bag number two because that's got Anna in it. I want to check out her outfit. So Anna has got a skirt. Oh, this is a new skirt. So, oh, and this, this is not the new, new mold with a little skinny, tiny, tiny hinge, but it is a new skirt for her with a really nice Arendelle printing on it. Her top is a design we've seen before, but not in the new mold. And I don't think the old one that had the same sort of printing on it had the printing on the back, but I don't know. I'd have to check, but this is cute. This is a very nice outfit. Her face is the same as it has been recently. And her hair is, I just love this updo for her. It's so cute. It's actually, it's more than cute. It's really elegant. So we have got Anna in a really really nice outfit that is yes exclusive to this set currently apparently she needs some staples so this is <laughs> this is this is cute what do you need if you're hanging out in a castle with Olaf by the way did I tell you what this was called this is called Anna and Olaf's Castle Fun terrible name let's see if the set suits its name shall we so it's got Anna it's got Olaf it's got a castle apparently they're gonna have fun they have chocolate of course they're gonna have fun and there's carrot but the carrot is for I had to look this up for Anna's horse whose name I did not know Click. Click, isn't that? No, Kajek, Kajek, Kajek. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. I shouldn't have even tried. But this is cool. This is also a, an exclusive horse to this set. It's got a roached mane with the alternating grey and black stripes down. Just, yeah, this is her horse. I I don't know why I haven't questioned this before, or have I? But it drives me bonkers that when you try and put the saddles on, there's they're on a jumper stud. Why is not like the jumper stud, like inside the horse, got just like that single little stud so you can take that whole concoction off? I don't understand. I don't understand that Lego. Explain it to me. All right. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> so distractible. We have a trunk. So this second bag is about building the furniture that's going to go into this tiny castle so they can have some fun. Obviously, they're going to need some money. So they're going to have to sell these gems so they can have some fun. Got the trunk. Good. Check. Next. Next bit of furniture is like this is all these are all simple builds. This is designed to be put together really, really quickly and have lots of easy stuff that you can just kind of move around. And this is <gasps> that la lavender flag is new in this color. I don't know why I'm so excited by that. I have so many flags, but not in lavender. So there's a little water trough, trough, trough. That word feels so weird trough. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it correctly. Anywho, moving on from the water trough, we're building, this is the second level of the castle. And this is kind of the same design as the big, the Disney princess, the big adventure hangout thing that we did earlier this year. And they all have this same sort of style bed. And I wonder if this could be added on to that big castle. I'm going to have to check that out at some stage. Ooh, and these turquoise side wedge bits, these little side wedgy bits, they're new in that color in turquoise. It's making a really nice shape for the top. I mean, it's nice and simple, but it's elegant. It's a very elegant design. So this is the end of bag number two, which would be normally where we finish, but we haven't actually done bag number one. Good. All right. So bag number one is Olaf's bag. And Olaf just, I just love this new incarnation of Olaf. The original version of him when Frozen first came out was <laughs> so... Naff compared to what we have now. Now he's just so perfect with his with his crazy big grin and his little twig hair. He's got everything that he should have. He's just so cute, including a goblet. And when we put this goblet in his hand, he just looks inebriated. He looks like he's going, hi, Anna. He's ready. He's ready to have some castle fun. And he doesn't just have a goblet. Actually, this set only comes with one goblet. Also, goblet feels weird now, too. Uh, why? Does Anna not get a drink? Are they going to have to share it? They'll get jams. Anyway, we have cake now on a table. <laughs> so distracted. <laughs> so distractible. All right. So this is grubby. It's just come out of come out of the cardboard box with little bits of cardboard on it. This is going to be the bottom level of the castle for all the castle fun. So we have a big tan castle-y turrety bit and I love these big door pieces. But this, this door panel in teal with the printing on it with a uh, Arendelle, 
I don't know what you call it, the, the markings, the, there's a word there that it's just completely lost. I've lost it, I've lost it. These are gorgeous. These are really nice printed doors. Once again, exclusive to this set. So, you know, if you're a Frozen fan, or even if you just want to make a, a growing up style, which I do, version of Arendelle Castle, something for more sophisticated builders, these doors would go so nicely in it. So they'll be pop, yeah, I'll be popping them aside for future projects. See what else we have got in here. So this is going to, the top's going to be designed so you can jump a stud off that top bit that we've already built. Down here in the bottom level, we get... This is weird. Brown wedgie bits. Oh no, hold on. I have to go back one, back one bit. Gold grill bit. Is this like a fireplace? Oh, this window. Is this window new? With that shape cut out in it? I feel as though... I know I've seen it in the smaller window. Anyway. Uh, so this is now apparently a clock. <laughs> Thanks, Brain. You got there eventually. So Grandfather Clock got a spinny bit in front of it. Is it supposed to be like a dance floor? Uh, if it is, it's a very rudimentary version. And this is the front entryway into the castle through those beautiful printed panel doors. Nice. Okay, so got to have the castle-y, decoration-y things going up here. Some more of those... Those new turquoise tall wedge pieces. And then obviously we're going to need something that goes pointy on the top. When you open the doors, all you can see is the brown of the back of the grandfather clock, which is a bit bit dark looking in there. That is the only furniture that's currently inside the castle, though. So <laughs> it's blocking our view through the door. More lavender flags. Oh, broke that one. More lavender flags on the top of our little pointy bits, little castle pointy bits. This is such an abbreviated version of Arendelle Castle, but it's really got some nice... Yeah, some nice little features that I would like to utilize in other builds. So big doors, nice pointy, pointy flaggy bits. We'll find out where we put these. We could put, maybe not put the cake on the spinny bit. Maybe we could put the trunk in here down the stairs and we can put Olive on here and spin him around. Wee, this is a bit, look at his face. He's just real, <laughs> just his face is goofy and awesome. I love, I love the Lego version of Olaf. So, so adorable. Weird that, um, that Lego thinks that that flag could have been facing the other way because it can't when we actually put it on up here. Could maybe put the trunk up here. And then, just because I want to contain everything within this set, this is cool because you can pop out the next floor, but I want to put the water trough, the water trough, in downstairs, which looks really, really weird with the flag in there, but eh, at least everything's contained. And now the cake is a chocolate carrot cake, so everybody can share it. Perfect for... Uh, no idea. Do love the horse though. Do love Anna's new outfit. I always love Olaf and I love those palace doors. Ah! All right, let me know in the comments if there are any particular features in this that would make it worth buying for you. And yeah, check back in because I have more videos, more builds, more stuff coming up all the time. So I will see you then. Bye!